Okay, example two, solve x plus 3y equals 6 and 2x plus 6y equals negative 18. Uh, the st structure this time we have x's and y's equal to numbers. Everything's the same structure. That elimination tends to be the more efficient way to do those when they're set up like that. Um, I could also do substitution. If I move the 3y over here, x equals 6 minus 3y can substitute in. Take your pick how you want to do it. I personally prefer elimination when the structure calls for it. So um, getting rid of x would be really easy. Just negative 2 times this will make negative 2x and positive 2x. So if I multiply the top equation by negative 2, I end up with negative 2x. I get minus 6y. I get equals minus 12. So everything on top gets multiplied by negative 2, and it creates that new equation on the bottom, that blue equation. And as I expected, 2x minus 2x cancels, so the elimination that I wanted to happen happened. But also, 6y minus 6y cancels. So this is what I wanted to happen. As a consequence of doing the problem correctly, this also cancels out. When that happens, everything on this side cancels out. We're left with nothing on the left-hand side. On the right-hand side, we get whatever we get with the two numbers involved. They're both the same sign, so we add them together. 18 is bigger, so it's negative. Now, when both of the variables cancel like that, when you try to eliminate one but both of them go away, um, that's called an, either an inconsistent or a dependent equation. Um, it depends on the true or false, the truth or falseness of this. This, of course, is false. That makes it an inconsistent system of equations. Um, if I were graphing this, these would be parallel lines. x plus 3y equals 6 would be kind of like this. Uh, 2x plus 6y equals negative 18 would be kind of like this. Parallel to each other. They don't intersect, so there's no answer, no ordered pair representing their point of intersection because they don't. Uh, when you get an inconsistent equation or you get a false statement here, your answer is the empty set. There are no solutions to the problem. Again, we're looking for a point of intersection. Parallel lines don't have points of intersection, so there's no solution.